All right, so the technical term for urination is um, micturition. This is the voiding of urine from the bladder. So here is the bladder. And as it gets filled with urine, um, it's going to start stretching. It's transitional epithelium, so it can stretch. But we're going to start to, first of all, feel that um, fullness start to um, happen at about 150 milliliters. You don't need to know the exact amount, probably variable in different people. Um, so this can be overridden at this point, the urge to, to urinate. And so we continue to stretch. We're going to have stretch receptors continue to signal. And eventually, in addition to um, just being a conscious you know, um, awareness, we're also going to have a automatic process urination occur. So this is going to be both through, primarily through the parasympathetic nervous system outflow to, so we're looking at right here, here's sensory coming in. We've got synapses in the spinal cord. This is spinal cord. And then we've got motor outputs. This here is PNS. This motor output is going to be to the um, detrusor muscle and the internal sphincter. This is going to contract, that's its response. This is going to relax, that makes it open. That's going to cause urine to flow out, urination. Um, there's also a somatic control of the external sphincter to keep it from contracting. Um, so to have it be also relaxed and open. So we could do um, that as well. Okay, so this is great. Awesome, except when you don't want to um, <laughs> have this happen. So infants, right, until you learn to control your urine, um, this would be what's happening all the time. Um, however, what's nice is we can learn to consciously control, what do you think, our external sphincter. It's a somatic one. So instead of just spinal cord, we have um, the cerebral cortex. controlling the spinal cord and activating this process so that they contract and we stop that process. So this is this um, blue pathway down here. This would be our conscious control. Just like the defecation reflex, internal sphincter is part of that actual reflex. And then the external sphincter is skeletal muscle is allowing for us to have conscious control. Very similar to the defecation reflex. Very nice to have the control over riding these reflexes.